the forgotten prehistoric war that killed 95% of all men, fact versus fiction. Imagine a world where only 5% of the male population survives, a cataclysmic event, a forgotten war so brutal it nearly wiped out the male lineage. Is this a scene from a dystopian novel or a glimpse into our prehistoric past? Let's unravel the truth behind the sensational claim of a forgotten prehistoric war. The idea of a forgotten prehistoric war that decimated the male population is certainly attention-grabbing. It's a narrative that sparks the imagination and fuels conspiracy theories. However, it's crucial to understand that this claim is largely sensationalized and often inaccurate. This narrative often misinterprets complex scientific findings related to the Y chromosome bottleneck. While there's evidence of a significant reduction in male genetic diversity, it doesn't necessarily equate to a single all-encompassing war. The narrative, while intriguing, lacks concrete evidence to support its most extreme claims. Genetic studies provide valuable insights into our ancestry. Scientists analyze the Y chromosome, which is passed down from father to son, virtually unchanged. This makes it a powerful tool for tracing male lineage and population history. These studies have revealed a dramatic reduction in Y chromosome diversity occurring roughly 2,000 to 5,000 years ago. This period is known as the Y chromosome bottleneck. The data suggests a time when a drastically reduced number of men contributed to the gene pool. This means that a significant portion of the male population at that time did not pass on their Y chromosome to future generations. Their genetic lines effectively ended. This raises the question, what caused such a drastic reduction in male genetic diversity? The Y chromosome bottleneck is often attributed to intense warfare in prehistoric times. The theory suggests that widespread conflicts, possibly linked to the rise of patriarchal societies, led to a significant loss of male lives. These wars could have been driven by competition for resources, territory or power. The subjugation or even elimination of rival groups could have resulted in the deaths of many men. This, in turn, would have reduced the genetic diversity of the Y chromosome. The victors and their descendants would have disproportionately contributed to the gene pool. This war interpretation paints a dramatic picture of prehistoric life. It suggests a brutal struggle for survival, where only a select few men managed to pass on their genes. But is this the only, or even the most likely, explanation? While the war narrative is compelling, it's important to recognize its limitations. It's largely speculative and based on indirect evidence. Attributing the bottleneck solely to a single massive war is likely an oversimplification of a complex historical process. There are other factors that could have contributed to the Y chromosome bottleneck. These alternative explanations offer a more nuanced understanding of the events that shaped our genetic history. We must consider these possibilities before jumping to conclusions. The rise of hierarchical societies could have played a significant role. In these societies, power and reproductive success were often concentrated in the hands of a few dominant men. These men, through polygamy or other means, could have fathered a disproportionately large number of children. This would have led to a disproportionate contribution to the gene pool by a smaller number of individuals. The genetic lines of less powerful men would have gradually faded away. This social dynamic could have significantly reduced Y chromosome diversity. Epidemics could have also disproportionately affected men. Certain diseases might have had a higher mortality rate among males. This would have led to a reduction in the number of fathers and a corresponding decrease in Y chromosome diversity. The impact of disease should not be underestimated. Even without widespread warfare, 
disease could have significantly altered the genetic landscape of prehistoric populations. It's a factor that is often overlooked in discussions of the Y-chromosome bottleneck. Climate change or resource scarcity could have triggered conflicts and social upheaval. These environmental pressures could have indirectly impacted the male population. Competition for dwindling resources might have led to increased violence and mortality among men. Environmental factors can have cascading effects on human populations. They can exacerbate existing social tensions and create new challenges that disproportionately affect certain groups. In this case, men may have been particularly vulnerable to the consequences of environmental change. It's crucial to understand what the research on the Y-chromosome bottleneck actually indicates. The studies show a reduction in Y-chromosome diversity, not the complete elimination of 95% of all men. The remaining men likely had a greater impact on the gene pool. This greater impact led to the observed bottleneck. It's a shift in the distribution of Y-chromosome lineages, not necessarily a mass extinction event. The 95% figure is often taken out of context and used to sensationalize the narrative. The Y-chromosome bottleneck is a significant finding that offers valuable insights into our past. However, the forgotten prehistoric war narrative is a dramatic oversimplification of a complex historical process. The bottleneck likely resulted from a complex interplay of factors. These factors include potential conflict, social changes, disease, and environmental pressures. It's important to approach such claims with a critical eye, recognize the limitations of the evidence, and avoid sensationalized interpretations. The story of our past is rarely simple. It's a complex puzzle with many pieces. By considering all the available evidence and avoiding simplistic explanations, we can gain a more accurate and nuanced understanding of our history. Did you find this exploration of the Y-chromosome bottleneck and the forgotten prehistoric war narrative intriguing? If so, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content on science, history, and archaeology. Share this video with your friends and fellow enthusiasts, and let's continue to explore the mysteries of our past together. Also, let us know in the comments what other historical mysteries you'd like us to investigate.